Hi and welcome to Paintin. You can just see the pier there behind me. I'm going to walk over to Torquay today, just here for a lovely Sunday stroll really. I thought it's the perfect day to walk over to Torquay, so I'm going to take you with me. So I started my walk just over in that direction, which is where the harbour is, and I'll show you some views of that now. It's absolutely beautiful over there. I was hoping to get an ice cream, but the ice cream shop was shut today. It's just the beginning of March. Anyway, we're going to head out in this direction to Torquay, keeping alongside the beach as much as we can. So I've just taken a screenshot so that you can see where I am on a map. Oh, absolutely beautiful morning for a walk here in Paynton at Torquay. I've been staying overnight actually in the hotel, brand new hotel, which faces the pier and that was the Ibis Styles Hotel and that should be up on the channel very soon. So do keep an eye out for that one. I also made a video yesterday in the beautiful town of Totnes, which is about five or six miles away, and it has wonderful independent shops, quaint cafes, a market, a wonderful Mott and Bailey castle. So do keep an eye out for that video as well. I think we'll go for a walk on the pier as well when we get there. I love painting pier. It's very much a amusement pier. Got some wonderful views from there, so we'll do that. Let's just go down onto the beach. I love walking next to the sea. It's lovely to be back on the beach again, actually. I have been to some beaches during the winter, but spring is just arriving and the blue skies are abundant at the moment and it's just beautiful. I hope you're enjoying these views. Lots of people down here on the beach today, enjoying the sunshine. Oh, it's looking a bit cloudy over there. I think there's normally like kiosks on the beach here. And I guess this must be what they stand on during the summer. I'll get some footage from my previous videos and see what was there. Loads of people enjoying their Sunday afternoon down by the beach and the cabins are looking busy, but let's go onto the pier. I got myself an ice cream. I think this is my first peach ice cream of the year. Honey cream and white chocolate. Really delicious. Mmm. A brave swimmer down there. So we've just come from along that way and we're heading along this way. Oh, I just had <laughs> a lovely afternoon for a walk, as I keep saying. I woke up to a beautiful sunrise over this pier today. If you're looking to park at Paynton Seafront, there's plenty of parking along the seafront. This is just the very end of the car park, but it extends quite a long way back. So you can't walk all the way along the beach. I'm now in the road that runs parallel to the beach. Um, I think it's called Marine Drive, I'll check that. It's just by the Travel Lodge. The Travel Lodge is just behind me. So that road brings you out onto this area with all the beach huts and everything. Lovely recreation area. Let's go and see the sea again. Looking a bit cloudy, isn't it? It's lovely and warm though. There's somebody behind me there getting their beach hat ready for the summer by the looks of it. Paynton and Toki a number of times but this is the first time I've actually walked between the two of them so I'm interested to see the same as you are as we go along. Another ice cream place there just right by the beach.
So this area is called Preston Sands and you'll see there's a number of hotels, bistro hotels and bed and breakfast and things down here. And some good parking as well. Oh, this is lovely, it's so sunny and the water is just lapping against the edge here. I'm going to go and sit on the steps. I have to recharge the phone a minute to take more videos so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and listen to the water lapping for a minute and then we'll carry on towards the quay. We're actually following the southwest coast pass signs and that's the acorn sign so we're going to be doing that coming up over this hill here. Oh, it was so relaxing sitting there listening to the waves lapping and also the sun was beating down on me it felt really strong it was like burning through my trousers it was so hot lovely at the beginning of march so the southwest coast path continues ahead but i came down the slope and i came down to this beautiful beach here it's very quiet i think this is like one person down there absolutely beautiful I can hear the birds singing. The joy of coming to the English Riviera out of season. It's got the beach down there. And then just to my left is the railway truck. I think that beach was called Holocon Beach. Just love walks like this with the sea to the right of me. The birds singing and beautiful countryside. The snowdrops are still out. This is Holocon Park. Just going to go under this tunnel and it looks like it comes out by the sea. Let's go under here. Listen to that bird singing, it's lovely. So there we go, just come out of the park, down under the tunnel, and out onto this beautiful beach. Just love the red cliffs and the red sand in this area, it's beautiful. Back up in the park again now and carrying on towards Tuki. Okay, so I think we have to leave the park and walk along the road for a little bit. Sounds quite a busy road. Let's go and have a look. I really like the street art depicting Torbay. Quite a busy road, it's difficult to see the sign too well, but anyway, so welcome to Torquay, the birthplace of Agatha Christie. There we go, this is nicer views than the road for you. Oh, just gorgeous. So although this is a busy road, this is still the Southwest Coast Path. I need to find out what they're building here. Does anybody know who's watching this? Looks like it might be a new hotel or something. But the Livermead Hotel just there. Yeah, I need to find out what this is. Anyway, just opposite there, we have this glorious coastal scene. Ooh, an advertisement for Sunday lunch. It's actually Sunday today when I'm filming this. That would be tempting, but I've not long had ice cream. So just been doing a little bit of research online and that building, that I didn't know what it was, it's actually going to be an amazing new hotel. It's called the Corbin Head Hotel, due to open in summer 2024. It's going to have 152 guest rooms, I believe, and a spa. And it's going to have a rooftop bar as well, amongst other things. That's what I can remember from my research at the moment. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that when it's finished. I might have to stay there and do a little review of it. Oh, there's a signpost there for Cockington. It's a historic village and country park down that way. I've done a video down there and it's absolutely beautiful. And I wish I had time to go down there again today, actually. It's really, really lovely. Do check out my video of the Cockington country park. 
to go down a bit closer to the water. The tide is very much in today. Lovely views though. Across further into Torquay. Going to walk all around there down to the harbour. Lots of lovely traditional hotels as around here as well. Let's Alive Mead House Hotel. This is such a pretty building, yet somebody has to deface it with vandalism. It's such a pity when the views are otherwise so gorgeous. Lovely view here of the Grand Hotel, just overlooking the beach. Very historic hotel. I'm just wondering, if you had the choice, and if it was the same sort of price, and the same star rating, would you prefer to stay in an historic hotel like this, with lots of character in the building and architecture, or would you prefer to stay in something really modern, like the one being built up at Corbin Head? I'd love to hear your views and let me know in the comments. been looking at this hotel and thinking how elegant and gorgeous it is and I wanted to find out more about it so I've just had a look online and it was opened in 1881 and it was because the railway was expanding into the southwest of England so they needed accommodation it opened with just 12 bedrooms I think it has 132 now I'll put that on the screen to be sure um, and it was one of the first hotels in the UK in 1926 to have central heating. The RAF used it during the war and it reopened again as a hotel in 1941. I think I said there that it opened as a hotel again in 1941 but it actually opened as a hotel again in 1946. It has a spa as well these days. I'd love to go inside and have a look around sometime to try and do that. A couple of people just got into the water there. Very brave in just swimming costumes and bubbles hats. Just coming up to the Curly Whirly Bridge. I think there's somewhere along here that I can get coffee or something to drink. I'm really thirsty. I had uh, bacon at the hotel this morning. I'm so thirsty now. I forgot to bring some water with me. I just stopped off at Foster Coffee just by the Curly Whirly Bridge. Oh, I got a bit comfortable in there in Costa Coffee. It's starting to rain now outside, but it is still sunny, so I'm really hoping that it's just a shower. Oh, it just reminds me of being abroad, walking along the seafront with the palm trees, which is beautiful. Even though it's raining, it's still blue sky, and it's very, very pleasant to be walking out in it. Well, here I am on the pier in Turkey with the harbour there just behind me. I'm going to finish this video here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the little walk from Paynton out to Turkey. It's very nice. I really enjoyed it. Some places on the walk weren't as scenic as other coast path walks that I've done. But on the whole, it was a really lovely walk and some lovely coastal views. And it was lovely to see that hotel being built as well. I'm interested to see how that progresses and I'll let you know throughout the season anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to look at my other videos loads of videos from all around the southwest of england and um, about 200 now i think so don't forget to look at those and subscribe to the channel and you'll get alerted when i put new content out which i try to do every single sunday thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye for now